this one, we'll be taking a look at how we can download files from Google Drive using Google Drive API. Please note that this piece of code downloads publicly accessible files. So if you have a publicly accessible Google Drive URL, you can make use of this code. The first thing that we need to do is instantiate the drive service object. So here we have service and you can see that we are passing two things, API key and application name. You can get these two values by visiting console.developers.google.com. Once that's done, you make use of the service object and then you get the file ID. So service.files.get file ID. Every Google Drive URL contains the file ID if the URL is for a file. So that value you need to pass over here. And we have a request now for that particular file. If you execute that, you can get certain pieces of information, metadata of that file, for example, name. So we have stored that thing in a variable called file name. And then this is the place where we are trying to store it on the disk. So once the file is downloaded, this file part will decide where exactly we are keeping it. Now there are two ways of downloading a file. The first and the classic approach, which you will obviously find on the Google Drive's API sample code, they're making use of memory stream. Now this is a good thing when you're trying to download files below one GB. But if you want to download files which are greater than one GB, let's say two GB or three GB, then I would recommend that you make use of the file stream. So the code piece looks exactly the same. The only thing over here is when you're creating memory stream, you keep on looping till the download status is completed. And here you can have your method, which will basically save that stream to that particular file part. Now with file stream, if you see over here, we are first of all creating that file, okay? So we're creating that file and we are giving the right access to that file. After that, we are making use of the same event which monitors the download. And here, once the download is completed, we are flushing the stream and closing it. And finally here, we are saying request or download stream. So once the whole thing is done, it will be downloaded at this location, file path that you see over here, and the file will be ready for usage. As a precautionary measure, we are closing this stream over here just in case it is encountering any other status after completing the whole process. And finally, here you can track exception. I've just written string.mt for my scenario, but you can obviously log the exception and accordingly work upon the resolution for the same. So using this file stream approach, you'll be able to download file sizes which are exceeding one GB. I hope this helps you. Thanks a lot.